Welcome to Charleston Parents Connect. I am Danica Todd, your certified doula, licensed massage therapist, and certified yoga and Pilates instructor. It is my intention through sharing content and creating community to transform your relationships, inspire connection, and lead communities to live unapologetically. For this week's Throwback Thursday, I'm going to read out loud my very first blog entry for Charleston Birth Doula. Its original title is called, I Can't Lead You to Water and I Can't Make You Drink. Using something that has nothing to do with birth to explain how a doula can serve you during your childbearing year. See, you have lots of water choices to choose from these days, and there's no wrong answer, but it is up to you to decide which water you would like to drink. I can help explain all about the many kinds of water options there are, and I can bear witness as you wade through water sample results and conspiracy theories about quality, quantity, and accessibility. I can encourage you to research them all and find the one that sounds like the best fit for you. But what I can't do is lead you to the right water or at any time use my own agenda to persuade you to pick my favorite kind of water. So now that you've decided if you prefer spring water, municipal water, well water, or maybe even filtered water, let's talk about a vessel to contain it. Would you like it in a bottle, a glass, a turbis for easy transport? Would you like it at home in a pitcher from your own fridge? Do you want to start drinking your water at home for as long as possible and then switch to store-bought water at a later point? What if you think you want water at home? And then when you go to drink it, it tastes funny and you swear the filter needs changing. I can remind you why you chose to drink the water your way and I can help assure you when your water is not contaminated and safe to drink. But then what about the temperature of your water? Do you prefer it cold? How about warm or hot? Would you elect to have a lemon or perhaps a lime? What about ice? Would you want it cubed or crushed? What if you start drinking it plain and you realize you actually really want a lemon in it? What if you drink so much water that you throw your electrolytes off? and you need to augment your water to keep yourself healthy and safe. I will be there to make sure you and your partner feel empowered to make your own decisions about which kind, when, and how you want to drink your water. I can recommend ways to make drinking your water more manageable. Maybe offer you a lid a bendy straw, or hold your water for you while you drink it. Maybe you need a koozie to keep it the right temperature longer, a coaster to rest it on, or a cup holder to support the weight of the water. We can also talk about people who will try to put Kool-Aid in your water. I can remind you about that talk when I see some Kool-Aid in the room, but it's up to you to decide what is Kool-Aid and what is water. I can't tell them that you don't want the Kool-Aid. I can't even tell you not to drink the Kool-Aid. Although, on the inside, I might actually be screaming, don't drink the Kool-Aid. And if you drink the Kool-Aid, I will go to my grave before I will taint your birth story with self-doubt about whether you actually drank Kool-Aid or not. Imagine you're drifting peacefully along in the water and suddenly you are blindsided by a typhoon. I can help you answer any questions you may have 
provide assurance and assist your partner while you ride out the storm. I can communicate with family on the mainland. And as long as it isn't medical, grab a bucket and help start bailing out the water. And when the storm passes, I can help bring you out and dry you off. At the end of the day, just remember that you are mostly made up of water. The water isn't separate from you, but is actually a part of you. Your ancestors have been drinking water for generations without needing special smart water or vitamin water. Parts of the world today still don't even have clean drinking water. We're fortunate that we live in a country where we have access to many different ways of getting water. And with a low risk, healthy pregnancy, we can choose any kind of water we want. Water is water after all. Who am I to decide which water is better or safer or more refreshing for you and your family? I hope you enjoyed this week's throwback. Don't forget to subscribe now so you won't miss any new information. And I look forward to seeing you in the Facebook group. Hope you have a fantastic day. Bye-bye.